So uh, now I've, what I've got to do is uh, to start building the platform where the mine is going to be. Um, I've done a cardboard retaining wall uh, just to get the angles and things right. So now I need to start thinking about what I want to do. So I want some sort of arched retaining wall. So I had a look at scale scenes and uh, downloaded um, their their art one, as you can see the picture above, um, as suggested by Stephen Allen Holm. But I also wanted to try and do one in Inkscape, so I started going about learning how to do that and produce this version. So I printed off the design um, from Inkscape onto uh, sticky back paper, for want of a better word. Um, and then cut out uh, the retaining wall blank side uh, to see how that would fit and cut the cardboard to size. Next I cut out the blank arches, stuck them on the cardboard um, and then started to trim that up so that I could create the middle section of the retaining wall as you can see above. Um, a little bit short than I needed so I cut it through and then place that on top of the backing paper. I then cut out the front section from um, Inkscape and place that on top of the middle section. There's the three pieces uh, to create the 3D effect which you can see above. So next bit then is to put some um, retaining bits in between the arches just to help out so I cut out <clears throat> two bits of card wrap the card then with uh, the paper I mean scape and then um, stuck that down on top of the front to make that three-dimensional effect um, in hindsight I should have put one in the middle and one on either end it's a bit rough and ready at the minute um, and uh, on the next one I need to take more care and perhaps put a sharper scalpel in then I turn to the scale scenes and cut two of the um, arches out, stuck them down onto some card and then uh, while it's on the card uh, I cut around to, relieve, to uh, reveal the arches. Uh, what I should have done is cut the sides um, because he doesn't look that clever. But anyway, got around, stuck it down, cut out the arches so that's the first stage. Um, I cut the backing uh, sheet, the, the, the inside of the arches as it were, uh, and I just cut that out, put on a plain piece of card like this, and then took the, um, the first part and placed it on top. This meant then I get the 3D effect and then um, put the buttress in front of it. So here we go. There's the two versions. So a question for everybody in a vote. Which one do you think we would prefer? Which one do you think would look the best? The top one, which is the one I done, or the bottom one, which is scale scenes. Uh, to give you help, this is the, the, the my one, sort of put in front of where I want it to go. This is the scale scenes version. Uh, bear in mind the white paper around it won't be there. And there's the two together. So uh, I'd like some advice. I'd like some feedback, please, if you could. Which one do you think I should move on with? Uh, my own done in escape or um, the scale scenes one. So yeah, be interested to see what you guys think. Um, really would. I do. I would appreciate any any advice. So thank you for now. I hope you enjoyed that a little bit, and I hope you do take a vote. It'll be interesting to see what the uh, results are. Okay, ta-ra for now. Deal